The Calls tab on Teams mainly covers audio calls. Some people actually use Teams calls as a VoIP system to handle all of their calling, but we're just going to look at it within Teams today. You can quick access this using the shortcut Control and 5. First up on the top left, we have Phone and Contacts. So we're going to start with Contacts. This allows you to add contacts not just from Teams, but other numbers too. At the top here, you have a Find Contact search bar, so you can search through your contacts, and below this will be a list of all of your contacts. For each contact, you'll have quick access buttons. So here you can quickly access a chat with the contact, you can email them, video call and audio call. On the more options button here, you can add someone to your speed dial and you can also remove a contact. If we go back up to the phone option now, so below phone you have your dial pad. You can type a name or a number in here and then hit the call button. When you do call someone, it will open up just like a Teams meeting. So I'm gonna call my demo account right now to show you. So I've typed in their name. I'm going to click to select them and then hit call. So you can see this opens up just like a normal Teams call. You do actually have the option to enable video call too. And you have the same options of any meeting. So you can share your screen, you can mute yourself, you can even hold transfer, apply background effects if you have your video on and open up a chat window too. Below the dial pad is a parked calls button. So if you have a parked call, then you can pick that up from there. And at the bottom below parked calls, there are two options. So don't forward. So this means that at the moment, any calls I have incoming will not forward, but you can also forward them to a voicemail if you'd like. The more settings will open up the settings option for call which allows you to configure things like call answering, so forwarding, you can configure your voicemail and ringtones too. Below don't forward, I have customized setting, but you might see device settings. So this is for your audio devices. If you click on this, it will open the devices settings. Here you can change things like your speaker input and output, your microphone, you can even make test calls and change your noise suppression levels. Next to the dial pad is your history of calls. This does include history of video calls too. You can filter these up here, so you can have all your calls, you can have missed calls, incoming and voicemail. There's also a further filter option here, so you can filter by certain names or numbers. And there are even further options to filter by outcoming, incoming, missed calls and voicemails here. On each call history log, you also have options. So you'll see that when I hover over history, it changes from the length of the call and the time or date of the call to a more options and a call button. So the call button will call them straight away. The more options you can call back, which will call straight away, chat with them and add to speed dial. For other contacts who maybe aren't in your address book, you will also have an add contact button. So I'm going to add demo Sam to my speed dial. You see that once I do that, the contact appears here. Once they appear here, I have quick access to video call and audio call them, and I can use more options to remove them from speed dial if I need to. And that is an overview of calls.